Metro Atlanta man says Apple gave him a new phone, but no explanation after his iPhone erupted in flames. Channel 2 consumer investigator Jim Strickland is live in Midtown Atlanta. And Jim, you found these cases are nothing new for Apple. That's right. I did some digging and found out that an Arizona man was actually burned a month after the iPhone 6 came out when his iPhone 6 erupted in flames in his pocket. Well, a man who works at this salon in Midtown owns this iPhone. He says he got it directly from Apple, and now Apple has it back. Sound like a firecracker. David Grimsley's iPhone 6 Plus burst into flames on Christmas Eve. It was on charge with a genuine Apple Cube and charging cord. So when it blew up and the flames and sparks started flying, I just quickly was like, let me get it somewhere where it was not going to burn out you know, the apartment. His phone had been on the bed. These are pictures of a phone that had been in an Arizona man's pocket. This is the burn it left when it exploded in flames in October 2014. Owner Phil Lecter told me today he's never received an apology from Apple and that his attorney is still seeking a resolution. Well, maybe y'all should do something more or to figure out what's, what's, what's causing these phones to blow up or is there a way to prevent it? Because this could happen to anybody. It happened to a man in Douglas County three weeks ago. We aired this story from a Home Depot where he had to take his pants off to prevent burn injury. Grimsley has a new phone and a new sense of caution. Are you nervous about walking around with that in your pocket? Yes, I'm very kind of hesitant. Um, I won't even put it on my charger uh, on the bed no more. Like, I'm kind of scared just to leave it around. I'm dialed in listening to the station signal on an iPhone. All of our reporters and staff carry them. In fact, Apple is the world's largest company in terms of valuation, more than $600 billion. Despite that size, their entire PR team is off this week due to the holidays, so I couldn't get any comment for this story. Reporting live, Midtown Atlanta, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News.